Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing okay after that loss against Aston Villa yesterday. It was a very frustrating game, wasn't it? I mean, we played exceptionally well. It was just that end finish, like there was a lot of improvements in that game. And to be honest with you, I'm starting to feel a bit sorry for Jesse now because there is games where we have dominated, we have control, but we just can't seem to pick up the three points. So in a sense, it's very difficult. And I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit of a soft spot for Jesse because I know I've criticised him uh, before. But at the same time now, while analysing in a little bit more depth, I can see how much he puts into it. I can see how much the team puts behind uh, is behind Jesse, should I say. And I guess it's starting to frustrate us and a lot of Leeds fans because we want to see the um, club succeed. We want to see Jesse succeed. But anyway, guys, if you are new around here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you are a returning viewer and you enjoy the video, make sure you smash the like button as well. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So as you can tell by in today's title, it's only going to be a quick video because I'm going to be going out. But Onahi could be on the possibility on joining Leeds United. And... I'm making this video because I haven't really made a video on Onaihi yet and uh, a guy on Instagram actually wanted to have an update on what's going to happen with the, with the player. <coughs> Excuse me, but obviously the main factor is Jorginho Rutter is still not being announced yet, so I don't know what's happening there. It was a couple of days ago where they mentioned that he was going to be having a medical at Leeds United and still hasn't been announced. But uh, Fabrizio Romano has stated that Onaihi... Or Leeds United will be processing the the, the possibility of signing Onahi uh, after the Rutter deal, if that goes through. I know Leeds United were in competition with Napoli, and it seems like Napoli aren't going to be uh, progressing with the the signing or making their money higher because they I think they were going in for a, a package of 17.7 million I think that's how they're, uh, how much they're going to pay for him and then obviously a signing on bonus of 1.5 I believe but Leeds United were going to go out pay about 22 to 24 million pounds plus a 2.5 million uh, signing on bonus so Leeds United there are in better in a in, in, in a sense the pole position to be able to sign Onahi because the money I guess the Premier League status is a lot bigger than the Syria and then obviously a, a big bonus and a signing on bonus to be able to lead him to the club he's more of an advanced uh, um, uh, uh, midfielder he plays in that number eight role and to be honest with you he gives me that NDD you know that time when he was playing at Leicester City and then obviously Mwepo and Bwepo, I think that's how you pronounce it, when he was playing at um, Brighton. I feel like he has a mixture of those two in in him. And I feel like it's a very exciting one. He lit up the, the World Cup. And I saw him a couple of times when he played for Monaco. And it was a fantastic bit of display from, from him. And if Leeds United can land this player, I feel like Jesse Marsh will have a very good talent on his hands. I know PSG was going to go sign him. I know Napoli was. And I guess if Leeds United could pull off this signing as well, I feel like it gives a brilliant statement for any other players to come to the club because obviously we've got the likes of like Nonto now. We've got Sinistera. Rodrigo's firing in all cylinders. We've got uh, we've got a very strong attacking front and obviously with Anohai on the possibility of joining Leeds United, that'd be fantastic. So if Leeds United can get this Rutter deal over the line, then they're going to be focused on Anohai and hopefully we can be able to bring him in at the club for about, about £22 million. Pounds. Um, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in another video, but I just want to get this little bite-sized video out just to give you clarity on, on the situation. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.